Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, we're going to be slapping the front clip there back onto the E36. We know the engine starts. Pretty much all the plumbing is good. We're also going to be uh, putting the radiator back in. And I think I'm going to uh, sort of lay out the uh, fan controller as well. But I'm not really going to cover that in this video. It's just some of the stuff I'll be working on. Getting really close to getting this thing back on the road. Hoping to have it back on the road before FCP Euros Cars, cars and Coffee. Um, it would be good to have it there. Will it, will it work? Will it not? I don't know. I'm also still waiting on my solid mount shifter from uh, Garagistic. You know, it's a custom made item. Lead times happen. It is what it is. I have the stock shifter back in there for now. I'm also waiting on some specialty tools to come in to rebuild the drive shaft. So, literally not going anywhere until I put a drive shaft back in. Um, so, with that said, kind of got on a tangent there. Let's just hop right into this and get this front clip back on. Just for, for reference, all of your main connection points, they're all pretty well out in the open. You have three back here that hold this, um, ah, I forgot the technical term for this, I forget what BMW calls this piece right here, but this whole piece where the kidney grills go and the, the surround for the headlight, that's a separate piece in its own. Uh, you can actually replace this separately from the front clip and the radiator support. But there's uh, three screws that hold it in. They're self-tappers. They're behind there. You have two big ones right here. And then uh, the headlight support's kind of like right here. So pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Not too bad. Um, just got to reroute the this crossover harness. Um... Some of the stuff on here would have gone to like the AC compressor and the secondary air pump. Obviously, that is gone now. So I'm going to have to uh, organize that wiring and, and eventually I'll come back and sort of clean everything up and get rid, get rid of the excess. Or so that's the plan. Also, uh, that front bumper cover, clearly it's been repainted. That's not the issue. The issue is the uh, side support for it. Um, see that? little hook right there uh, that actually hooks on to this and if you'll you'll see uh, it is missing on that uh, left hand corner it got ripped off so I actually went ahead and just bought a replacement uh, because these replica bumpers in ABS plastic which is what this is are dirt cheap so it makes no sense to try to fix that in my opinion and, and also is missing some trim pieces which is going to drive me crazy uh, just to buy the trim pieces on their own it would have uh, it would have cost probably three quarters of what the actual bumper cover itself cost brand new so uh, I'll pay to get it painted at some point but I really don't want the bumper cover hanging off or not properly secured so um, sort of bit the bullet that was a hundred something bucks that I didn't really expect but like I said uh, for a hundred dollars a brand new bumper cover sort of made sense given the alternatives another thing to note i'm not putting the latches back in i'm actually going to put hood pins in hood pins are the preferred option uh, particularly on a track because if something happens in the front of the car and it breaks those latches you lose the hood the actual um, hood pins 
those are not going to break. And what I'll end up doing is I'm going to uh, put some stock under here. I'm going to cut a piece, affix it underneath. We'll have the hood pins coming out of here. I'll run them straight through the hood uh, right here. I'm going to see if I can keep the, uh, the catch. That would be nice to have. I don't know if it will be possible. But um, that's not going back in. And also the hood release cable, uh, which is right here. Oops, I pinched it. This is the hood release cable. Uh, that's going to be gone. I'm going to basically pull that back to the car. So really at this point, it's just a matter of uh, running the wires back to where they normally would have been. Kind of just a game of backtracking at this point. I went ahead and tucked this harness uh, underneath the radiator support here. And a lot of these clips are broken, which is not really a big deal. I don't really think those clips are that fantastic to begin with. Uh, so I went ahead and used some zip ties, but when you're dealing with zip ties and you cut them, do yourself a favor, get a set of flesh cuts flush cuts <laughs> and get yourself a, um, a flush cutter otherwise you will have some flush cuts um, because nothing is worse than cutting yourself on a on a janky cut zip tie these are cheap keep you from bleeding all over the place also makes for a nice clean install all important things One thing I'm going to have to look into uh, with this radiator, it came with the car, it is sealed up, there's no problem there. However, didn't notice it didn't have the rubber feet down here at the base. So I might have to grab those. Because those rubber feet will prevent this thing from you know, basically moving around. But if I have to go back in there to deal with that, it's not a big deal. A tip here when installing um, radiator hoses with clamps is just make sure that you place the clamp in a position which you know you'll be able to access it
and that's what I was referring to as uh, in regards to hose clamp orientation. Obviously, I put these in a position where I can easily access them. Just makes life a little bit easier. This temp sensor is going to be leaving, but we'll talk about that in a different video. I did throw the cold air intake back in. Uh, I figured why not, no point not to put it in. Obviously, you need to make sure that the hoses and everything else were going to clear, which it does. And then uh, last but not least, we just got to put the crash bars back on. And uh, the front clip is pretty much back in place with the exception of the bumper cover, which I said earlier, uh, not going to be reusing. We'll reuse the crash bar though, or the, the metal bumper support. Also, just need to get that hose back onto the expansion tank real quick. But it uh, plugs in down here so you can actually just see straight up that's where it goes kind of just routes around and comes over also not a huge fan I will say this Mishimoto should have done a better job uh, making the fitment here a little bit tighter than it is um, this thing just wants to wobble back and forth but, uh, you know, we can come up with a solution for that, I think. I'm not too worried about it. It almost benefited them if they had just put a, like a little, um, like a block here with a uh, riv nut. And then you can just bolt it to it like you can at the top. But, whatever. Well, anyway, I know I didn't talk too much in this video. I think most of this is pretty self-explanatory. Just want to put a quick video together showing how to put the front clip back on. Also, getting the radiator and everything else back in. Obviously, space is a little bit tight, and I'm gonna make some changes to this as time goes on, but I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, you know, between the Mishimoto hoses, the fan, all of that stuff should be in a pretty good position. One thing I'm considering doing is uh, making a screen that will go in front of the radiator and it'll use like chicken wire. Um, normally, you would put it in behind the grills and all the open areas. Um, but I kind of want to put it a little bit further back. And the reason you do that is when you're following somebody closely on track, they'll pick up pebbles and things like that. And that could take out your radiator uh, if it happens to hit it just right. So obviously you want to protect the most uh, critical part uh, of in the front of this car, which is, you know, my opinion, going to be the radiator. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave it in the comment box below. Definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Always comment, rate, and subscribe. Really appreciate the uh, the new subscribers that have come through. Car is getting closer, uh, but still not there yet. Got a lot more left to do, including setting up the initial alignment on the car and getting all that good. But we'll talk about string alignments at a later video. Also, getting the uh, fan wired up with a fan controller. You can kind of see the little red wire that's right there. I'm just kind of testing the layout and how I want to do it, but I'll do a full video explaining that process. Uh, but as always, like I said, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys for the next one. Later.